Good morning guys, today is Sunday the 22nd of July and today I am going to the BNBF to support um, my first ever PT um, in his bodybuilding show um, so yeah I'm going with my younger sister and there's going to be loads of us there yeah, gonna be and we're all wearing t-shirts that he's created um, so hopefully there will be loads of people there and it's going to be loads of fun
Janana Johnson. He's a BMW Southern Vespero champion with a trophy and an invite and of course the title. Take it all to Becky McKay. Keen to have the best legs in today's show. And Davey, do you want to take that best wheels trophy and give it to Luke Austin? Hi guys, today is the 26th of July um, and it's Wednesday, um, so three days after the BNBF show and I've just been food shopping so I thought I would do a food haul and show you everything. I'm going to have to run through it quickly because I've got frozen stuff and it is so hot today here in the UK. It is, well, it's supposed to hit 35 degrees and honestly I'm sweating just from food shopping. Um, so yeah, I'll run through it all and show you what I've got. Um, so I went food shopping at Asda. Um, normally I would go to like Morrison's or something, but I went to Asda a few weeks back and it's actually really cheap in comparison to like Morrison's and that. So I decided I would go back there and do my food shop. So this is the, like pretty much everything that I bought. There's a couple of items that I haven't put here, but this all cost me £50 and it will probably last me well, the vegetables and that I normally get through in like a few days, but the rest of the stuff here probably lasts like a week or two. Um, so I will show you. So to start with, I have cauliflower rice. Um, these are frozen. You buy frozen and you just whack them in the microwave. Um, so we've got the Asda one there, just plain. And then also the Asda Slim Zone range is actually really good. Um, and I've tried this one before, the Indian Spice Cauliflower Rice. It's actually like insane, like tastes really, really good. Um, so that's just, these are just lower alternatives, uh, lower carb alternatives to regular rice. And then just got some steam bags of vegetables just because they're easy um, for the evening if I'm tired and can't be bothered to prepare fresh vegetables. Um, and then these two items here, I'm trying them out. The macros are really, really good. These are pork and beef meatballs. So this is again from the Asda Slim Zone range. Now for meatballs, actually let's do it by 100 grams. One, so this is a 320 gram, 320 gram bag. So per 100 grams, is 18 grams of protein, 0.8 grams of carb and 2.8 grams of fat. That is like unbelievably good. And look, they said here 5% minced pork, 5% meat, minced beef, um, as in like 5% fat, I'm assuming. Um, and there's four servings in here. So every four, four meatballs, 75 calories, which is really good if you compare it to like regular meatballs and that. And then here I have the Slim Zone quarter pounder beef burgers. Per burger, 104 calories, 3.1 grams of fat, 1.1 gram of carb and 17 grams of protein. So again, really good low fat choice there. Um, then this, I've just picked it up in the store. I saw it and I, so see for half a pack, 92 calories, one gram of fat, 15.5 gram of carb, which is fairly high in carb, and then 5.6 gram of protein. But that with one of these is just a really evening, really easy, quick evening dinner. Um, so yeah, just thought I'd try it out. And then this is a teriyaki chicken stir fry. I bought this in for, I picked this up in the, um, I guess like the health section, I'm not sure what you call it, like the, you know where they keep like the gluten free and that kind of thing. So this is a no added sugar teriyaki chicken stir fry sauce and per 100 grams, and this is a 170 gram bag, um, 6.6 grams of carb, um, only 0.6 of which is sugar. And actually that's fairly low carb considering like normally teriyaki sauce and that kind of thing are really high in um, 
carbs. And also, I have a sesame allergy, and this is sesame free, which is why I got excited about it. I wanted to try it out. Um, next up, I have the chicken pieces that I have for lunch. Um, this is just these as the own brand. Um, eggs, because I use these to get in my fat. Then my vegetables, so broccoli, then a mixed bag of broccoli carrots and that kind of thing. Um, green beans, asparagus and mushrooms, which are really good macros on them as well. Um, and then on to these, so I just picked up a mango and passion fruit. I like to buy like flavoured water, sugar free, so it's not got like any carbs or anything in it. And then just a bottle of water. And again, sugar free squash, because I like to add it to my water. I do drink a lot of water, so I like to add some of that to it. Some coconut milk, because I'm going to try out um, a recipe this week with that. Now, these. So, peppers in vinegar. So these I normally pretty, I like, like the macros are really good, like per 100 grams, which is like a sixth of this, no, yeah, per 100, a third of this jar, 6.48 grams of carb and 35 calories. And you're never going to eat that many anyway. You're only going to have like 20, 30 grams, if that. So that's just a great thing, like along with sauerkraut and that kind of thing to just add for like flavor. And again, same with the roasted red peppers. This, these macros are even better. So per 100 grams, 17 calories, 2.2 grams of carb. Like adding flavor is just made easy now. Um, just picked up a small can of Heinz baked beans just because I um, might have them on my higher carb day on my refeed day. Um, and then chopped tomatoes because I like to make like salad sauce, um, not salad, um, pasta sauces and that with that. So I'll probably use this and add it to the meatballs and make like a pasta sauce. Yeah, and then I have the light honey and mustard salad dressing that I just add on salads. Um, cocoa powder, use that in a protein muffin recipe that I get from Lainey Bobster's channel. Um, freeze-dried coffee because if you've seen it from my other videos I like my morning low-cal mocha that I make um, garlic salt I love to add this to um, so in Morrison's they sell pre-prepared butternut squash which I don't sell in Asda but I'll buy that normally sometimes for my dinner and then I'll sprinkle it with this before I throw it in the oven and then the Hartley's low-calorie jelly guys this is such a great like fake dessert thing fake dessert it's not fake you have it as a dessert it was low calories unbelievably like just look at the macros on that just insane so yeah i like to have one of these after my dinner usually so that is everything so i'm gonna put this all away before the frozen stuff defrosts uh, anymore um so yeah that is my weekly shop for prep um yeah I think that's pretty much everything that I normally buy. So yeah, 